The God Sport Daily Podcast is a podcast presented in partnership with the engineer Charlie Tamelo Dasha Conta Online Academy. Hello and welcome to the God Sport Daily Podcast. This podcast attempts to preach the gospel to the listener and we pray and trust that the listener will come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. In addition, this podcast also tries to encourage the believer and help them strengthen their faith in the gospel that they have believed in. Episode 34 and we're going to continue with the phrases in the gospel of John. And today's phrase is Jesus came to serve the world. And for us to understand this phrase in more detail, we will look at a few verses in the Bible. Today's reading is from John chapter 12 verse 44 to 47. And the word of God says, And Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not in me, but in him who has sent me. And whoever sees me sees him who has sent me. I have come into the world as light, so that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my words and does not keep them, I do not judge him, for I have not come to judge the world, but to save the world. We pray and trust that the Lord will bless the reading of Scripture. Based on these few verses, we can now answer the phrase, Jesus came to serve the world. When we read in John chapter 12, we see that Jesus is ultimately rejected by the people of his day. But Jesus wants to respond and tell them that their rejection is not a rejection of him, but of the one who sent him. Up to now, Jesus has shown through the various things that he has done, that he was truly sent of God and that he was the son of God. But we see there is a national rejection from him. And this is what now leads him to basically tell them the main fact of him why he came to this world. We see this through the ultimate aspects of when we're reading through the books of John. But we see him actually emphasize this in these few verses. So when he cries out to them, he says, Whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but in him who has sent me. And this is the premise of what we're talking about in the gospel. Gospel is about God sending his son to do the work that needs to be done, that mankind who is broken in sin can be redeemed. When we look at John chapter 3 verse 16, we said, God loves the world, and out of love he sends his son, so that men should not perish. The ultimate aspect of the world is that man is in darkness, and man is in sin. And because man is in sin and darkness, they deserve judgment and judgment from a holy God. So the father who judges needs to vindicate the aspects of his wrath towards people who have disobeyed him. But we also see another attribute of God, which is love. And when he shows love towards mankind, he also also wants them to respond to his love. And his love is he's sending his son towards mankind. So that they do not experience the aspects of judgment that is to come, but they may can find a way to be reconciled to him, and the way he can reconcile to them and have a relationship with them is through the person and the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. So when we see here that the Lord Jesus Christ is emphasizing he was sent by God. And if you believe him, you will also believe that this is a God mission. And God has sent his son on a mission to rectify the brokenness of man. And then he goes on and says, And whoever sees me, sees him or sent me. So we also see that the Lord Jesus Christ is using phrases here and trying to say, I've been sent out by God. One, we're in agreement in the mission. But two, we are also, if you see me, you see the Father. Also, going back to the aspect of him and the Father are one. And the Father has given him the authority and he has the authority of the Godhead to come and now reconcile mankind to himself. He is the one who now has to do the work to reconcile mankind. This is a mission that has been ordained by the Godhead from eternity past. And this is how we can come to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a mission of the Godhead. As we have said in the in the past, God the Father is on elects. The son does the work. 
the Holy Spirit is the one who convicts man of their sin. And we see that they play their different parts in agreement of how to bring sinners to themselves. So we see that now the Son is playing his part to redeem mankind to himself. So when you see him, you also see the Godhead who have sent him, the Father who sent him, as well as the Holy Spirit who is coming and coming to do the work of convicting men. The agreement is here between the Father and the Son. So we see this oneness and the oneness that the Godhead have is something that has been poured out throughout scripture which emphasizes that God is indeed a one God. And we see that the three persons in the Trinity all agree and all agree in the aspects of them having to do the work that is needed for salvation, emphasizing the oneness of God. So here then it goes on to say, I have come to the world as light so that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. And that's the emphasis of the gospel. The Lord Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The only reason why he's come here is there is a darkness within the world. And the darkness is within the world is because of sin. Sin has affected the world. And because of that, we see that man are in darkness now. And the darkness that is now in mankind needs to come out of that darkness. We see that through generations, sin continues to grow and grow and continues to go from generation to generation because of the brokenness that was in us. But we see that God is not pleased by that sin and he's willing to judge that sin because in his character, he cannot let sin slide. So for him to now now come to a point of where he judges sin, he has to do that. It's either through a different way or through judging us who are sinners. And he actually now chooses the different way. And the different way is actually he vindicates his holiness by punishing his son on our behalf. So the son now becomes the one who steps in and takes the judgment that is supposed to be placed upon mankind. And then he gives his righteousness towards mankind, those who believe in him. So now there is a great exchange. He takes our sin and he gives us his righteousness. And we see that through that exchange, God is indeed pleased. God has actually done, has not lost any aspect of his character. He is a loving God, but he's also judged sin. But for the ones who have been hard-headed and want to continue in sin, God will ultimately judge you, judge you personally, and also judge you because you've not only rejected his son, but you've also rejected the means of how he's calling you to come to himself. And you're basically saying that you can stand before God and account for yourself. And when you account for yourself, God will actually tell you that everything that you did is not pleasing in his sight. God has a standard and that standard needs to be met. So when we say here that the Lord Jesus Christ becomes to be light, so he's shining this bright light towards mankind. And mankind needs to see that light and come out of their darkness. Darkness is something that needs to be addressed. And the way it can only be addressed is through the person and the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. In verse 47, it says, If anyone hears my words and does not keep them, I did not come to judge him. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. In this verse, we actually see that the Lord Jesus Christ, his first coming was not a coming of judgment towards the world. It was a coming of where he had to meet the standard of how to save the world. But there is a second coming that is supposed to come. And when the Lord Jesus Christ comes, he's coming to take his people who believed in him and now also to judge the world of how they responded towards the gospel. So when we see here, that the first time was an act of love. But there is a time where the love of God will run out. His patient will run out. And then he will come and then tell you what have you done to respond to the message of the gospel. So to the one who has not come to the point of the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who's seeking, 
This is a message compelling you to understand Christ has come to serve the world, save you, and also bring you out of your darkness into light. Even when he has not judged you yet, but there will be a time when judgment will come, either when he comes again or when the time comes where you will meet your maker face to face, and that can be any time. You don't know what tomorrow holds, so today is the day of salvation. Yield towards that. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, as the word says, and you will be saved. For the one who's a believer, let's rejoice in this, that God has shown his light in our darkness. We responded to the light by faith. And this is not because of our own doing, but this is the grace of God that has met us. And we can rejoice and be glad that God has met us at our weak point and we have run to him for salvation. We pray and trust that the Lord has indeed blessed you through this listening of the podcast. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.